I talking about? Ask me that question again. Okay. Can you guess who didn't? Ben Walker. Oh my gosh, you're a genius. <laughs> it makes all the sense. I think it does. It's a very American movement of him to I mean, but he's just like, I mean, he's like a little southern, southern, like, daddy. I don't know. He's like, I'm going to wear this thing. Oh, I mean, he's too cool for his it's, it's so great. I mean, it's so great to be on set with him. Wait. As, a, as an actor. More. Tell me more about our and No, I mean, we, we, as I said, and we see people. Uh -huh. yeah. first cast were you immediately fitted for a ring no I, well, I didn't know who I was playing really? when I was cast yeah so that was way down the line Ooh. I just knew I might be an elf yeah I didn't know anything you didn't know you were gonna be the elf well, no uh, right away? <laughs> that <laughs> no that's a season two thing I didn't know really so if they'd sized me for a ring you I would have given the game away pretty Ooh. quickly oh <laughs> Nobody's asked me that yet. That's a really cool question. I wasn't sized for a ring. Now I'm a bit upset That's so and a little bit worried. We did a little cast signing the other day mm -hmm. and they were 3D printing the, th the three rings yes, that have been made yeah. so far. And I was like, this is cool. <laughs> and I tried them on and none of them fitted. None of them fit? None of them fit me. How dare? I've either got to get bigger fingers or I need to get smaller fingers. I've got to do one of the two. I don't <laughs> <laughs> I wish. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. But I mean, hopefully one day. I'd love to. I knew I was going to be a ring bearer. Yeah. Yeah. Because we finally seen the Elven Rings. I get the pretty ones. Yes, they're stunning. They are gorgeous. Is it heavy? Well, the the power that it wields is. Uh, will you steal it when you leave set? Who <laughs> says I haven't already stolen it? <laughs> <laughs> No, absolutely not, no. because they are militant about that stuff. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. There are, like, <laughs> ring bearers on set, because the, the, the ones that they would shoot close-ups of yeah. are, you know, they're, they're handmade. They take months to make, and, you know, it's the kind of thing where, like, a guy comes over with a pillow to take it. Like, and, like, like, like a ring One of a, a kind. <laughs> exactly. And so, I, like, I also don't want to chip the stone. I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. No. <laughs> Was they that not till season two? No, you know what? I don't wear a ring in it. And uh, I chose not to do that. Um, I thought, well, because the guy makes Book rings. Cannon people's heads are exploding right now. Are they? Yes. Is, do they specifically say that he wears rings? <laughs> I just think because, you know, you're the, the, not even the ring bearer, but the creator of rings. So yeah. I think we just assume that you would have ten knuckles deep in all the rings. No. Why did you choose not to wear one? I thought it was a little... Um, I don't know. I just I thought because he spends all day with them, uh -huh. he might want to not wear them himself. That's what I thought. I love you've blown my mind, and I really, <laughs> really love this. Because <laughs> yeah, he gets a little yeah, you know, he loves them, but I think at the end of the day, he puts them away and goes, you know, doesn't doesn't want to wear them himself. Just finished with his work. Also, mm -hmm. it's a practical thing. You keep your your fingers clear for intricate work. Wow. So. I also would have. I clearly have no fine motor skills, so. <laughs> We know exactly where he's going, but we don't know how he gets there. Tell me think, more. And I think that's that's what's so exciting for me as well. As a fan of the trilogy, is yeah. I almost fell off my chair when I found out I was playing a sealed wolf. So, which they didn't tell you, by the way. I was auditioning for a um, what was it? A young mercurial uh, person with, with the weight of the world on his shoulders. Which could be a sealed wolf. It could be almost anyone else in the franchise. Anyone. As well. It could be anyone. Um, and I think. Um, I think, yeah, it's it's like we know these milestones that a sealed door sort of does, but, but how does he get there? And I think JD and Patrick have that difficult task of trying to mold him and shape him. And I think... By almost drowning him repeatedly. Yeah. Oh God. Will you tell me what it's been like for you being one of the breakout stars that we've all fallen in love with since we met you in season That's one? That's very, very kind of you to say. Um, it's been wonderful. I'm a creative artist. I'm an actor, ultimately. And when I receive a script it's it's food for me you know mm -hmm. and and i just get so excited to and i visualize certain things mm -hmm. and then suddenly to have this body of support um from the incredible team that we work with including the crew the producers mm -hmm. the showrunners of course and directors and you know and suddenly we get to bring this to life mm -hmm. and so um to bring that to life from a place of authenticity and love and respect for a character and for a show and for the team um and to see that that feedback and that positive reception mm -hmm. is is an honor and really really exciting uh, so I'm so pleased and I mean also single-handedly redefining 
how amazing female dwarves can be for all of us <laughs> yeah, who we just can. know you as a punchline. Yeah, we can. Lord exactly, <laughs> exactly. We are not just the comic relief, although there is comedy and joy. Yes. We, we are dense and we are emotive and strong and there is there's so many layers and yeah it feels so good to kind of host that 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 moment that that redefining as you so eloquently put it moment. <laughs> will we get more crystal singing from you in season two you might yes <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. you have a scene in the first season where you've been captured and you're crying and cutting down a tree mm -hmm. and a lot of fans consider that to be the most tolkien scene that tolkien never wrote so what is it like to be playing an original character that is the most Tolkien character that Tolkien ever wrote? The elfiest elf that ne the elfiest elf that ever elfed that never elfed. That never <laughs> elfed in the book. Before. Yeah. Um, and I love it. I mean, I think it, I think um, I think it's don't overcomplicate the thing. Mm -hmm. um, we're artists, and people build up on each other's art, and I think it's it speaks. Uh, the, it's the opposite. It speaks directly mm -hmm. on Tolkien, on how influential he is, and how deep his work goes, and how clear he delineated mm -hmm. this world. That I, I mean, I, that was an improv that I did. Really? Yeah, that was an improv. I was when I was testing for the role. Uh -huh. The final six of us. We went to New Zealand, and when I heard that, I, I didn't know it until that point that I was playing an elf. I was uh -huh. just auditioning for a man, and oh, then they're like, "Actually, it's as, as an elf." Even so I, I went, "Ah." <laughs> <laughs> yes, I went to the park and I did this improv and I said, I, ha if it's an elf, mm -hmm. I have to pray over this tree. Yeah. I have to touch it. I have to ask for forgiveness. It's like cutting your mother's limb. You know, it really is yeah. like when you go that deep. So I improvised that and it made it. And yeah, I mean, I'm very proud of having improvised <laughs> yeah. that and all. like I really am. However, um, it is the spirit of Tolkien. And I and it's it is it's it's not that I made it up out of thin air. I made it up because I understand Tolkien's work because it impacted me and because that work is full and whole and yeah. So it is Tolkien. It is. You're channeling it. He lives in all of us. Lives in you. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> Today was the Hall H presentation. The trailers out there. We now know a little bit about season two. What was it like for you to get to finally see the fans' reactions to everything you've been working on? It's great. It's it's incredible because that's why we do it right to share it with the fans and the people that have been the gatekeepers of this universe forever mm -hmm. right um we're just stepping up into the world i mean i was a tolkien fan before but not to the level that i am now right so it's it's incredible to share it with everyone and see people's reactions and also from a selfish perspective for us to see the trailer and stuff you know because we haven't seen that much okay if you're a deeper tolkien fan now how many times have you read the silmarillion and how many times have you read the unfinished tale i've read them both twice Ooh, we're not in one per season yeah yeah exactly not quite one per season i actually think i read them twice in the first season and then there's been a little gap but i go back into little bits that i've put my notes on i mean it's amazing it's kind of it's just such a gift and pleasure to do this work and be able to kind of be connected to so many people. Um, but I think also what I love about coming here is um, it's how excited everyone is not to just kind of meet people who are in shows, but also to meet each other. You're meeting people who've been friends online for years and years and years. And so it's a really special place. And I'm, yeah, going to miss everyone smiling on the street because everyone's so cheery here. It's always so gorgeous because you, you spend all this time doing the doing the stuff, you know, filming the stuff, mm -hmm. seeing the script, doing the rehearsal. Afterwards, you can't tell anybody. And then finally, when you come here, for me, it's a huge release because you get all these people who really care about the story. Yes. And you have images that, like, we hadn't seen any of this stuff. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so for us today, it's been an amazing, like, watching the trailer is one thing, but then there were behind the scenes yeah. stuff about yeah. the rings forging. Yeah. There were things where I was like, holy moly, that's <laughs> extraordinary, you know. So it's been really fun. It was amazing. Uh, the trailer is so wonderful because also we don't get to see what anyone else films. Yeah. Um, it's so separate. And so it's so nice to see all of the components come together. And I just think it looks really cool. Yes. It looks really like dark and moody, but like mysterious and amazing. So, and I think also they've definitely like teased a lot, but they've also held a lot back. So there's a lot to look forward to, okay. I would say. Okay. Yeah, they've okay. done really well. <laughs> uh, I didn't choose to sing, JD chose for me to sing. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, like in the books, um, elves are singing every 30 seconds. Yes, like correct. there's there's a, a breeze in the trees and like, here comes a song. Um, and so it was inevitable that we'd sing and Bear is such a prolific and great composer that uh, yeah, um, you're gonna get some tunes. Da -da 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 -da. 
Yeah, yeah but look, it's, it's sharing it with us too, because we didn't see any of that. Uh -huh. So it was just as exciting. <laughs> we were all in that hall today, we were all the audience because we hadn't seen that before. Yeah. So it was just, and when they said, let's show it a second time, yes, we want to see it again too. <laughs> oh, it was a fabulous, it's a fabulous trailer on it's any good. level. It really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we were very excited. I mean, it's lovely. I, I look forward to being here so much. You know, I just wrapped a film in Australia mm -hmm. called The Bluff. Cool. I'm a son MGM as well. And I, um, I came straight here and it was it wasn't easy and a uh, moment I, I you know they're like maybe if you, if you don't if you can't, can't come don't come don't. no I needed to be here because of that experience like I'm so grateful for the fans I'm so grateful for the love I'm grateful for the queuing I'm grateful that people are like <laughs> under the sun and they come in and they give the their best energy and I want them to know that we give our best energy on set to make these characters as whole as possible for them it was so emotional because actually we're watching it with you in real time. Mm -hmm. We're seeing it for the first time ourselves. So suddenly you're seeing all your peers and your friends and your own work kind of come into the world. And then as the icing on the cake, you have this wall of support and love and excitement <laughs> from you wonderful mm -hmm. people. It's just an explosion of, of overwhelm um, of emotions and joy and humbleness and gratefulness for, for what we have. It's honestly a dream come true to see so many people who are so fond of our show. It's just a real blessing and I feel so grateful um, that, that we're here and we're able to celebrate it with yeah. everyone who, who loves it. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just amazing. And so we've seen Nenya. Nenya is going to be a bigger part of season two. How exciting was it for you to get that artifact? Yeah, super exciting. And you know, they're a mystery, the ring. So mm -hmm. we don't know what they're going to bring. And the elves don't either. And it's kind of, and the elves don't like taking risks like that. Uh -huh. So it's quite exciting to kind of be in that territory of who knows. I know she's, she's naughty. I know. <laughs> well, last time I talked to you, I asked you to talk about Gilgalad's journey and whether or not it was nice gonna... pronunciation, by the way. Thank you. Was I that girl who went out to high school who didn't have any friends? I definitely was. <laughs> uh, and if it was gonna mirror the book, and you smiled what happens to him in the book. So I wanna come back and ask, nice. can you describe for me what happens to you in this season in three words or less? That way we can avoid spoilers. I can. Okay. Do what I say. That's four words. Oh, crap. Thank you. Do what I. <laughs> Do what I. <laughs> we also got. Um, idiot, idiot, idiot. We finally got confirmation in a look at Agloss that I know has been around yeah. since the first season. Before. That's four words, Ben. <laughs> You're an idiot. I'll never live that down saying that to you. No, I'll never live it down. I can't count to three. <laughs> You're an actor. You do what you're told. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, but I don't. I, I went to four. Sorry. Yeah, Agloss. Sorry. <laughs> what was it like getting to work with such a legendary weapon? Uh, profound. Profound. What a great word. And at the end of the first season, mm -hmm. the guy that, the armorer that had made it, it wasn't supposed to be in one of the shots, uh -huh. but I knew he had it in the truck. And so I just, without asking permission, I was like, just go get the focus. <laughs> and so I worked it in the background of a shot. And yes. I was like, yes. And we all went nuts over yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and then JD came up to me after and was like, did you? I said, uh huh. He's like, okay. So you're looking out for us. So is yeah. there something in this season that we should be looking out for? Oh, no, she is alive and well. Yeah. Honestly, I'm just covered in mud for the whole of the season. Okay, I want to ask, can yeah. you describe your arc in season two for me in three words or less? That'll help us in In three words. Yeah. Uh, muddy. Um, <laughs> scary. And wet. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. No going back. <laughs> Ooh, you did that so fast. I'm so <laughs> impressed. Manipulating, Ooh. and um, I'm just gonna say evil, I guess. Manipulating and evil. Yeah. <laughs> Three <laughs> words <laughs> or less. Thank you so much. I mean, I mean, for me, it was it was about um, it was about it was about. I've got two. I'm just finding the third. Hold okay, on. Okay. Okay. It was about um, hot. As you are. Lost. As I am. Journey. Journey. Yeah. Ooh. It was a hot lost journey. <laughs> mm, it's definitely a continuation of her journey, for mm -hmm. sure, from season one. But you sort of get to see different elements of her life that are being explored too. Um, yeah, so there's a lot There's there's a lot to look forward to. <laughs> there's a lot coming. Yeah, there's a lot coming. Um, 
traumatic, um, desperate. Okay, so that's two words. Yep. <laughs> um, it is less. Hope, hopeful. Hopeful. Oh wow. Yeah. I think I think these are three words or less okay. because there's a lot of connective little words, uh -huh. but it's deep questions of the heart. Ooh, deep in season two. Yes. <laughs> um, power. Power. Ambition. Ambition. Vulnerability. Oh boy. So were you Halbrand when you were cast? No, Anna yeah. Tara. I was Halbrand. I didn't know anything about Sauron until the start of the third episode. What? Yeah. That's why you've blown my mind. I need like a second to recollect myself and yeah, yes. reimagine the whole thing. I know. Uh, because it feels like you're going on a journey to a place that maybe we're not familiar with. This is true. Ooh, we'll leave Unknown lands. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Lindon, Lindon, Lindon. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, but not least, because we are here at San Diego Comic Con, what are you geeking out about that you're not working on? So, no Lord of the Rings, unfortunately. The thing I'm most excited to do is to walk the floor and find some new artist that's written a graphic novel that Ooh. nobody's heard about, and I'm going to buy it and read it. It's going to blow my mind. Good answer. Will you be going in disguise? They say I'm supposed to. I don't think I'll need that. I think, I don't know. I think people are so focused on what they love that I don't think they'll care. Oh, I'm loving Robin Hobbs' um, shit magic books, but... What a good answer, my brain just exploded. Your taste is incredible. Oh, thanks. I love them. I don't want to finish them because I know it's not going to end well as well. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm loving at the moment. Well, I've just finished The Boys season four. Amazing. And I've seen some of them around, which is very cool. Have you spoken Quite. to any of them? No. I've just seen them from a distance walking around. <laughs> uh, if, I can get, if I get the opportunity, I will, okay. for sure. We're going to look out for those pictures on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I mean, I did just meet one of the actors from The Boys. Oh, and I love that show. Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, who yeah. did you meet? I met... Say their name. <laughs> <laughs> We're all kind of milling around. We're all milling around. But yeah, no, I, I, I love that show. Um, and also Doctor Who is here too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's exciting. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. I know Lord of the Rings. I know, um, I'm probably geeking out on the boys. Yes. It's just a good show. Have you seen any of the cast for I have. I actually met him. Friends. I actually met Jesse in the who plays a yeah, A train. He's amazing. Yeah, who uh, in the hotel. We we shared the lift this morning down to down to the reception together. And then you raced out of I'm trying to make it. Well a train yeah, too. he well he absolutely beat me to it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Can, listen, I need to. I actually haven't watched The Boys, and I want to watch hey. that. And I just worked with Carl Urban, so I need to do that. Amazing. Um, um, I love GOT. Yes. I yes. love, and I love, and I was waiting. I've been waiting for that season two, and I and I've known a bunch of the actors and Matt, and I've chilled with Matt, and so I'm super excited about that. And I'm very excited about watching Fallout yes. as well. You know, and uh, if there's a fourth season of, or eighth season of Rick and Morty at some point. I will be very excited about that as well. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, and the list goes on. Everything that's yet to come. I'm loving the boys. Yes. yes. Um, I'm loving that, like, the wheels are in motion. Stuff's happening. And I think it's like I can feel the rumble in our industry that, that stuff's Finally. coming up, right? <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the explosion to come. And I will be riding that wave hard. <laughs>